Hi, I'm Jackie, uh, manager of AMT development here at Lift Academy. Uh, one of my favorite things to do is travel, and uh, one of my favorite places to travel uh, with free flight benefits, of course, is uh, to Hawaii. Um, I went on a four-day camping trip in Hawaii, and I uh, enjoyed it a lot. Um, that's the best way to see the island, in my opinion. This is a DA-40 uh, Diamond aircraft. Uh, it is manufactured in London, Ontario, Canada. It is a single engine aircraft. This aircraft is a full composite made aircraft. This Diamond aircraft has an Austro E4A-300 piston powered diesel engine, turbocharged and liquid cooled. Fun fact, the engine is made with a Mercedes-Benz OM64 engine block. This engine is a 168 horsepower engine. The engine generates thrust for the aircraft. As you learned in previous lessons, thrust is the force that moves an aircraft through the air. This aircraft has a low wing design. The wing is a full composite wing, meaning it is made from an epoxy resin mixture with many layers of a fabric material. The wing generates lift. The wing is where both the aileron and flap attach to. Flaps control lift and drag of the aircraft. Lift is the force that directly opposes the weight of an aircraft. Drag is the force that resists movement of an aircraft through the air. The ailerons move when the control yoke is moved to the left or right. The ailerons move in the opposite direction of one another, meaning when the control yoke is moved to the left, the left aileron moves up while the right one moves down. The ailerons are controlling the roll movement of the aircraft. This motion is similar to when you roll over. Flaps control lift and drag of the aircraft. Flaps are deployed during takeoff and landing of the aircraft. The fuselage is the body of the aircraft. This is where multiple parts of the aircraft come together. This is also where the pilot, passengers, and baggage are kept. The vertical stabilizer is it permanently attached to the fuselage. The vertical stabilizer is where the rudder attaches to the aircraft. On this aircraft, the vertical stabilizer is permanently attached to the fuselage. The vertical stabilizer is where the rudder attaches to. The vertical stabilizer controls yaw. The rudder changes the yaw of the aircraft. This is the side-to-side -side movement. The horizontal stabilizer is detachable from the aircraft. The horizontal stabilizer is where the elevator attaches to. They both help control pitch. Elevator is controlled by the forward and backward movement of the control yoke in the flight deck. It controls the pitch of the aircraft. Pitch is the up and down movement of the aircraft. When climbing, the elevator will be put in the up position this pushes the tail down and the nose up. When descending, the elevator will be pushed in the down position, pushing the nose down. This is the control yoke. When moved side to side, this controls the aileron movement. When moved forward and back, this controls the elevator movement. These are the rudder pedals. When moved, left pedal and right pedal, this controls the rudder movement. This is the flap lever. When moved to the indicated position, the flaps will move. This aircraft is a full glass flight deck. It has the Garmin 1000 NXI avionics system in it. This is roll. This is yaw. This is pitch. Thank you for joining me today to learn about the functions and components in our Diamond DA-40 aircraft. I hope you learned a lot and are excited to see one in person sometime soon.